I'm sorry to call you all here on such short notice. I feel there's something you need to know about Lin. Miss Lin, did something happen to her? Do you remember the sound that the Christomax parasitized puppet singer made when it attacked? Our technicians have analyzed and processed the sound. We've translated what we've got into human speech. She's calling for... If it really came for Ruby, then Lin must have hidden something from us. Both about the monster and Ruby. But why would Ruby have anything to do with it? Ruby's identity has always been mysterious. She suddenly appeared beside Lin about two years ago. Lin only said Ruby was entrusted to her by a friend, but she has never said anything about who that friend was. It seems like Lin is intentionally trying to keep Ruby's identity a secret. After the attack, the reason that she denies that she conversed with the monster is she doesn't want us to know about... Why did Miss Lin... do that? <sighs> As per regulation, I've submitted everything I've found to Larson. He will soon be holding an inquisition at Cloudtop regarding Lin. But, before that, I want to see if you two have anything to say. You were there. Did I miss anything that went down between Lin and the monster? Before Dr. Clive suddenly came in and opened fire, the enemy wasn't hostile. It was trying to communicate with Lin. But if Miss Lin wanted to hide this from us, she could have sent Shirley and me away and taken care of it herself. I believe in Miss Lin. She has always acted in the best interest of the people here. There must be something more to this than we know. I also trust that Lin would never betray Mororia, but her actions are, indeed, suspicious. We have to tread carefully for the safety of the city. Archon Larson wants both of you to be there at Lin's Inquisition. We can only hope Lin can explain all this, but I wonder how deep this rabbit hole goes. Mm-hmm. 
系。Lynn, let's go in. Don't forget what I told you before you slept. I remember. Then wait here for me. I'll be right out. Uh-huh. Let's go then.
Huh? Oh, looks like we have two new faces in our midst. Oh, let me introduce you. These two are Executor and Shirley from District 9. This is... Hello, I'm Tian Long. Hey, Lyra, why don't you come and say hi? Greetings, I'm Lyra. Tian Long is District 7's High Executor and is dispatched on a mission. Ms. Lyra is the current president of the Maidling Foundation, as well as Archon Larson's special consultant. I'm sorry that my work required me elsewhere. No. Everything happened because of me. Sorry for taking up all your time. Now that we're all here, let's get started. Archon Larson. I believe everyone here already knows about what happened a few days ago at the Listener Conference. Despite how the puppet singer was destroyed, and the artificial crystal max was relocated. It has a significant effect on things. Many have started questioning whether or not Miroria's defense systems are able to withstand gray space entity attacks. These concerns are understandable since gray space entity attacks have never happened inside Miroria. If we cannot guarantee our denizens safety, it stands to reason that we will lose their trust. Captain Saki Fuwa has doubled the patrols in Mororia, and Lyra will be assisting in upgrading the city's current surveillance systems. However, these are but contingencies and responses to an emergency incident. We need to prevent similar situations from taking place in the future. Lin, Captain Saki Fuwa should have already relayed the results of the investigation to you. Would you please explain why you concealed the fact that the puppet singer could communicate with you? And what exactly did it say? Now that the Security Special Forces reports are out, there's nothing more I could say other than... I'm sorry, Archon Larson. I concealed it not because I have an agenda or harbor ill will. There are just some things that I feel are not ready for the public eye. Forgive me for being frank, Miss Lin. This thing has profound influences. If we can't work together and solve this crisis together, I'm afraid... Archon Larson, please let me handle the follow-up to this incident. I promise I'll present a satisfactory answer to everyone. I'll just... need some extra time. Lin, I've trusted you. And I'm willing to believe that there is a reason for your actions. However, I cannot allow you to put the whole city in danger. Archon Larson is responsible for the safety of the entire city. Please understand that, Lin. It spoke Ruby's name. That's the kid who hangs around you. The Security Special Forces have completed their investigation into Ruby's identity and past, and found no activities beyond the last two years. Lin, who is this kid? Archon Larson, I vouch for Ruby that she's always been a good kid. I'll educate her well and be held responsible for all her actions. I don't need you to take responsibility. I only want to know what the relationship between that kid and the artificial Crystal Max parasitized monster is. I... Security alert. All non-combatants, please proceed to the nearest safe zone. Ruby... Archon Larson, please give the order to lock down all exits immediately. You have your orders, Captain Saki Fuwa. Don't worry about me. Captain, that artificial Christomax suddenly went out of control. We're sending machine guards to suppress it. That artificial Christomax again. What's going on with it? 
が優秀かを考えれば当然の結論ね。